In this video, we're going to look at how to use an extension that's been pushed out by the district called Tab Resize. It's going to allow us to quickly and easily create two windows to work in whenever we're on our computer. This will be great for the students too because, as I said, quick, easy. So, um, right now I'm going to show you that this whole thing is called a window and inside the window are tabs. So the first tab that I have opened is my Meet, and here I am getting ready for a lesson right now. In the second tab, I have a great website called whiteboard.fi, and this allows you to instantly create um, interactive whiteboards that you can see stream right to your screen. So this URL right here, is going to be copied and pasted in the chat window during my meet with the students. And when they click on that link, their screen is going to look just like mine, meet in one tab and whiteboard.fi in the second tab. The problem is we need to be able to see both of these things without going back and forth. So the way we do it is we go back to the tab that we want to open up. So this is going to open the tab that you're on and the one that's immediately to its right. We're going to come over to our extension bar and there should be one there that is a blue square with a white arrow inside. When you click it the first time, it's going to have a message that you click and it says, I understand. And after that, it says, let's go. It's just kind of a, a little message for you to read through. Now, my favorite one to use is the one by two. I call it the side by side. So all I do, watch the magic happen. Bam, that's it. So now if you can imagine, I'm in grid view as the teacher and I see all 20, 25 of my students on this side, I'm able to use a whiteboard that can be pushed out to my students and as they're typing and writing on their whiteboard, all of their whiteboards appear here. This window, of course, could be anything you choose to share with your class. And when I am presenting something to my class, of course, just as a reminder, I'm going to go to present now and let's pretend I want to show them a YouTube video. Um, so I would queue that up and I'm going to say that I'm going to go to, oh, I don't know, a classroom tour just for fun. And the great thing about this is that when you present through the Chrome tab option, the audio streams with it as well. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to present a Chrome tab and you're going to see a list pop up and here's all my tabs. Remember we talked about those. There's Meet, there's Whiteboard, and there's Google, or I'm sorry, YouTube. So I'm going to just click share and it's already telling me I'm sharing my audio. And now on their screen, my students will see this video nice and big on their screen. If I want to change the tabs, instead of hitting stop, here's a little trick. Go to the tab that you want to share. So I'm going to click back to the whiteboards and I'm going to say, OK, let's take a look at those whiteboards. And a button appears that says share this tab instead. This is part of the update with sharing Chrome tabs. And now my students would be seeing my whiteboard on their screen and this it's going to be the game changer in the virtual instruction this dual screen and helping our students use the tab resize that's going to take us to the next step in true online virtual instruction